My name is Rishi Narendra Kumar, and I'm an incoming freshman to Northville High School. I've always been fascinated by medicine since a very young age, with the thought of helping others motivating me. The fact that I can solve some of humanity's worst problems drives my enthusiasm for medicine. In the future, I hope to pursue a career in neuroscience with the ambitions in helping those with neurological issues around me. My name is Arian Vega, and I'm a rising freshman from Northville High School in Michigan. I have a strong passion for the health sciences and a drive to change the community around me through innovative means. Participating in medical workshops and different activities has taught me the wide diversity of health science fields. In the future, I hope to become an orthopedic surgeon and help those around me in my community. So, without further ado, presenting Brainscape an innovative platform targeted towards those suffering from Gerstmann syndrome. Gerstmann syndrome is a rare disorder caused by a lesion to the left parietal lobe, mostly in the form of impaired blood flow to the brain. Viennese neurologist Joseph Gerstmann discovered this syndrome in 1924. Before we go more in depth, we must know what significance the left parietal lobe has. To understand that, we must take a look at something called the two-stream hypothesis. This is an argument that vision and hearing is processed through two different paths. These auditory streams connect the auditory cortex with the left parietal lobe, explaining why this region is in charge of language comprehension and production. Now that you know that the left parietal lobe is in control of language, one could assume that Gerstmann syndrome symptoms include language disabilities. We will take a look at major symptoms of this syndrome. The first symptom we will focus on is dyscalculia, which is the difficulty with mathematics. This can occur in people who fall in a spectrum of all intelligent quotients and levels of spatial reasoning. Dyscalculia is usually caused by genetic or developmental origin. Secondly, aphasia is a disorder of language comprehension and production, which is associated with the inferior frontal gyrus. Lesions around the inferior frontal gyrus can lead to Broca's aphasia, a type of aphasia in which the victim has agrammatic speech and stutters. The symptoms just mentioned are a common theme in various types of aphasias. Third, we have finger agnosia, which is the inability to distinguish or recognize the fingers. This is a very well-known symptom of Gerstmann syndrome, but is in active research. The fourth symptom, agraphia, is a loss of the ability to write. This is due to the fact that some people have motor dysfunctions, or some have lost the ability to spell. It is possible for different treatments and rehab to have an overall effect on the patient's ability based upon the severity and type. Our last major symptom is left-right disorientation. People suffering from it often confuse their left and right limbs and have difficulty differentiating between their right and left hands. Only the presence of all five of the symptoms mentioned earlier lead to pure Gerstmann syndrome. There are many issues in the present day pertaining to mental health, and it's important to be aware of them. Here are some statistics. 44,965 people die of suicide in the United States. There are more than 200 classified forms of mental illness. 5% of teens suffer from major depression at any one time. 40 million adults suffer from anxiety disorders and one in four people are affected by mental disorders. So why exactly is education important? Standing in the shoes of somebody else is no easy task. Being educated about the thoughts and feelings of those suffering from all mental health disorders and illnesses is important to let those around you know and that you stand for them. With every given problem, there is a solution. Our solution to Gerstmann Syndrome is Brainscape, an app with several different educational and motivation components. We hope to make a difference in the community around us that suffers from Gerstmann Syndrome and other mental health disorders. My partner Aryan will go into further depth with the logistics and details of what our app does for our audience. When developing the idea of Brainscape, there are quite a few logistics we had to discuss we had decided that it's not appropriate to put a price tag on somebody's mental health. So our idea is not for profit. We believe that anybody suffering from Grossman syndrome or any neurological disorder for that matter should have equal access to resources. 
cost cutting plans would be present as our app's content is at a higher priority than the aesthetic. The rare occurrence of Gerstmann syndrome is what drove us to create this solution. After a successful launch of our novel idea, expanding into other mental disorders is a must. Social media marketing would be a great way to promote our ideas to audiences, especially with the help of organizations focusing on mental illness and disorders. In conclusion, Gerstmann syndrome is a neurological disorder dealing with the dysfunction of essential functions of the brain. Our focus is to solve mental health issues and disorders with Brainscape. We wanted to thank all of you for your time and commitment to inspiring the next generation of innovators.